Hello and welcome to an original We Try This production. Today I'll be teaching you how to make a health bar in Game Maker. This can be done at Light or Pro, it doesn't matter. Um, so, this is my first tutorial on the health system. The health system will cover creating a health bar, increasing and decreasing HP, and gaining and losing lives and such. So, yeah. So to create a health bar, we don't need any sprites yet. We just create an object. Controller object is going to be. So I'll create an object. Let's call it OBJ underscore controller. No sprite. And for a create event, so I'm going to add event, create. So when the object is created in the game, I want to go to the score tab and drag the go into the health category and drag set health. I'll set it to 100 that's what a normal health bar would have, 100 HP. Huh. Just ignore these extra buttons right here. And so now let's draw the health bar. So add event, draw, and go to the draw health bar tab, or draw health. For X1, let's set it to view underscore X view. This will make it so that if you have a side-scrolling game, it'll stay with the view instead of going off screen. It'll stay with the view, so it'll work with the side-scrolling game. Or, or regular game, Y1, view underscore Y view, X2, let's set it to view underscore X view, plus 100, this will set the width of it, 100 pixels, so it'll match the amount of health that we have, Y2, we can set this to view underscore Y view, plus 10, back color, I'll set it to red, bar color, green to red, that's good, but it's okay, it doesn't matter. So I'll show you guys what this looks like, but the tutorial isn't done yet. So I'll just show you what it looks like. So let me just put uh oh, let me just rename it. I wasn't thinking when I named it. So as health bar. Okay, so let me show you. Okay, so here it is. The little green object up there is the health bar. Here's my player. Yeah, so. Well, we're not done with the tutorial yet. I'll show you how to start adding HP and stuff and whatnot. So, start adding some features into the health bar, so. Let's go to our health bar object. And we're going to create a step event. So, add event. Step. Step. So, hold on. Uh, so, wait, hold on for that. I'm going to show you guys this little object I have here. It's a little poison object, so when our player touches it, he'll lose HP. So, to apply an object to lose HP, what you would do, so add event, I'll say collision with the player. So, let's say a collision with the player. Any object will do. What you want to do, set it to destroy instance, so it destroys the object, applies to self. And what you can do, go to score tab, set health. So let's say I want to subtract 30 HP. So I select minus 30, and I set it to relative. So it will subtract 30 from the current amount of HP that we have. Make sure relative is checked, or else it will set the HP to negative 30. And we wouldn't want that, so, yeah. The health bar already covers the rest, it already knows if your HP area knows the maximum amount of HP is 100, I think it does, at least. Oh, well, it doesn't. So this is how you want to make an object. Subtract HP. If you wanted to add HP, just take away the minus sign. Leave relative check, but take away the minus sign. This object will take away HP, so. Let's say I have another object, object HP. I forgot to put these out of the thing. So I would just do the same thing. Collision with object black player. Uh, destroy instance, applies to self. And then I would set the health, plus 30. So yeah, that's how it would work. So let's go back to our step event in the health bar. So add event, step, step. Let's tell it what to do. Let's go to Control Tab, 
underscore. Let's do a test health event. A test health event. So if health is value one, operation smaller than, smaller than one. Oh, I apologize for any noise you may hear in the background. Okay, so let's go in with health is smaller than one, control, start of a block. Tell it to restart the game. So let's go to main to restart the game. And when it restarts the game, it still doesn't know to set the health back to 100. Because the object was still already in the room. So restart the game. And once you tell it to set the health back to 100. So score. Set the health. 100. Okay. Control. End of a block. So we'll be adding on to this in our future tutorial, so let me see if there's anything else for us to do. Uh, nope, that's all there really is to do in this tutorial. So yeah, I'll show you what it looks like. So let's put some objects into the room. Let's put enough poison so that we can die. Put some poison. I'll just put one poison here. I'll put some more poisons right here. So we can die and then HP object right here after this one. After the initial one. And I forgot what we set it to, so just in case we don't die. Just in case. That all fits on us. So let's show you what it looks like. Okay, so I collide with the poison object, takes away some HP. When I touch this object, it gives me back that HP. So when we die, <laughs> if we start in the room, set our HP back to 100. And the whole process can restart again. Well, this has been an original Retry This production. Hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe.